for each of you guys, just given how the series had gone for you individually, how badly did you want to have the performance tonight for your team? Sí, un juego muy importante ya que empatamos la serie para ir a jugar el juego 5 en casa. Eh, emocionado, emocionado ya de que llegue el próximo juego. Eh, eh, confío en mis muchachos de que vamos a hacer un buen trabajo y nada, que Dios que sabe. It's really important for us to, to play this game. You know, we're really excited to get the chance to play this game and now even more excited to get back home and be able to play. And I have the confidence of my guys that we're going to be able to, to have our best game come Saturday. Manuel, how nice was it to get back out there given what happened in game two? And did you know that you may be asked to get more than three outs tonight? ¿Qué tal se siente pichar de nuevo aquí después de lo que pasó luego en Cleveland? Y si sabías que ibas a pichar más de tres outs. Eh, nada, en verdad fue una sensación que te dio eh, fuerte. Picha hoy, en verdad, cinco outs. Um, me sentí muy contento, en verdad, que sigan confiando en mí. Que eso, eso que pasó allá fue parte, son parte del juego. Y. Nada, trata de tirar para adelante. Siento muy contento. Yeah, a lot of strong emotions, you know, getting back to this game. I was really excited to get to the mound, especially getting the trust back from the from the, from the manager to get me in that that role and that responsibility. So I was really excited to be there and, and come through for my team. I didn't know that he might be used for more than... Sabía que te iban a poner por cinco más más un inning o que te habían dicho algo. No, en verdad, yo he estado preparado. He estado preparado para dos innings. Pues yo sé que puedo ya lanzar dos aquí en esta, en esta temporada. Pues sí, yeah, didn't tell me any, anything specific, but I know given the circumstances of the playoff, I'm, I know I'm ready. I need to pitch two innings if, if needed. Any more questions? I'll go here. Paul? <coughs> Jose, uh, how good did it feel to, to, get, to, to hit the home run? And it looked like you were pretty excited. You slammed the bat down. I mean, I know you've been uh, scuffling a little bit in the postseason. Estás haciendo bateado ese honrón y vimos que tuviste una gran reacción porque has estado fallando los últimos turnos de la postemporada. Eh, sí, sí, estuve contento de traer el bate de una forma, ya que estaba buscando la forma de salir adelante, de salir adelante y tratar de ayudar a, ayudar a mi equipo y eso, eso es lo único fue, eso, por eso estaba contento. Yeah, it was a really effusive at the moment because I was really looking forward to find ways how to help the team. And a little bat fleet was to kind of like let all the energy go because I just really wanted to help the guys. Jose, we've seen David Fry come through in so many different situations and so many different, you know, being asked to do so many different things. He hits the home run. He, he lays down a sacrifice bunt. Just for you guys, what's the, the confidence level when he's out there and being asked to do things like that? And, you know, how much does he mean to this team? ¿Qué tanto significa para este equipo David Fry con lo que él ha podido hacer durante el año en tan diferentes roles que ha ayudado al equipo de diferentes maneras, en este caso con un rol y con un toque? Eh, David Fry ha sido el motor de nosotros. El tipo, él ha aportado demasiado, jugó, como en la defensa, jugando todas las posiciones, en el bateo. O sea, el tipo, es verdad que yo estoy contento por él, por el trabajo que, que ha hecho y nos ha ayudado. I'm very happy for him. I feel he has been the spark for us the whole year. When whenever we've been asked to do things in defense, in offense, he's always the guy that comes through when we less expect it and we're excited for him for the year that he's had so far. Jose, in that at bat with the homer, you fall behind 0-1. Holton's got a really good change up. Are you looking for that pitch? And was that exactly what you were trying to do with that one? Sabía que me iba a tirar un pitch suave. Traté de buscarlo arriba y eso fue lo que sucedió. Hice un buen swing y gracias a Dios se fue la pelota. Yeah, in that situation I was looking for off speed and you know I know he has a really good changeup and I was really trying to look him up and and I end up getting a good connection with the ball. Here on the right side. Jose, um, how difficult do you expect the challenge to be to face school ball on Saturday? Es tan difícil de esperar que sea enfrentarte a school ball el sábado. Debería él también estar pensando lo mismo que va a ser dificultad enfrentarse al equipo de nosotros. Eh, yo confío en mi muchacho, él no pichó una buena salida, pero eso no significa nada. Nosotros le, le hemos bateado mucho y a veces la ha salido victorioso y nosotros también. O sea, eh, se va a competir. Yo confío en lo mío. I mean, we're going to out to compete. I feel he has to have, ask the same question. How is it going to feel like facing our lineup as well? We've faced him countless of times in the past. We got good results. He's got good results. So it's going to be a good competition. And I trust my guys that we're going to go after and do our best. Jose or Emmanuel, what was the key to uh, getting the offense started after you've lost, you know, lost two games, three to nothing? ¿Qué piensa de una manera 
que fue lo importante de animar el equipo después de perder dos juegos seguidos 3 a 0 no repito no. ¿Qué, qué, quién se, qué fue la clave de ayudar al equipo a animarlo después de perder dos juegos seguidos 3 a 0 eh, nada en verdad qué te digo siempre nos estamos dando el mejor apoyo eh, uno al otro no, o sea no queremos perder ¿me entiendes? y estamos tratando de, de ejecutar con, con lo que mejor tenemos ¿me entiendes? cada quien dando lo mejor de él I mean, we keep cheering for each other and rooting for each other, and, and obviously we know we're, we can do this. So, you know, we're reminded of the things that we can do and trying to help us, you know, be in our, our best. And we'll take our last question here. Manuel, coming out, you went almost exclusively to the cutter. Just how much was that part of the game plan, especially just given the success that they had against the slider last time? ¿Qué tanto fue parte del plan de este juego que la mayoría de todos los pichos que tiraste fue el cutter, no tanto el slider, sabiendo que el juego anterior hicieron más daño en el slider? Eh, nada, en verdad, ¿qué te digo? Eh, el juego anterior, eh, ¿qué te digo? Un elide, que, que un mal picheo, se me quedó. Y nada, ahora pensé más, ¿cómo te digo? Atacarlo con la reta, porque ellos estaban ready para, para estar bateando mal elide, ¿me entiendes? Y lo vi con esa actitud y en home play, y bueno, lo quise atacar con mi mejor picheo, que el core. Yeah, I saw the same attitude this game, you know, they were really coming after the, the fast hole and getting ready for the slider as well because of the results they got the previous game. And I keep got to keep trusting my best pitch, and that's what I was trying to execute the cutter uh, as much as needed. Can you just share some of your top of mind thoughts after that thriller? Wow. Um, just such a great baseball game. I feel like every game this series has been a good baseball game. And uh, for our guys to, you know, score first, they come back, take the lead, we come back, you know, back and forth, back and forth, and just a tremendous job by, you know, our, our bullpen, guys off the bench, defense. It was just a well-played baseball game on both sides and a lot of fun. Steven, uh, David Fry had been 0 for 3 with three strikeouts against Bo Brisky. Just uh, what, were you, what did you see in the matchup there that, that you wanted to go to at that, at that point? I mean, that's more about, you know, the left on left versus right on right. And David has been very good versus right-handed pitching. And, you know, uh, Bo Brisky's pitched really well against us all year. And But for us in that moment, we wanted to get the matchup right on right right there. And, and David Fry is one of the best baseball players in this league. And uh, he, he just he's just a baseball player. You saw it tonight. You know, pinch hit off the bench, home run, gets a safety squeeze down, game on the line. Um, just can't say enough about what David has meant to us this year. And, you know, the the personal history is is huge. But you look at that, you can say, oh, no, he owns him or he's due. And, uh, you know, again, like we talked about yesterday, you, you have to take your shots. And fortunately, one of our shots worked out today. With Class A, how, how important was it for him to get back out there and kind of get back on track? And in an elimination game, were you going to a use him for more than an inning as long as the situation dictated it? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's win or go home. You want your best pitchers out there as long as possible. So Tanner gave us, you know, four plus phenomenal. And then the the big four in the bullpen took it from there and did a great job. And uh, we had talked about before the game, you know, Emmanuel getting four to five outs if we needed that. And tonight we did, and he was outstanding. Steven, you guys use the safety squeeze throughout the season. Just how important is it to get that run, obviously, when you get the run scored? But how important is it you guys have done it all season and it's not a surprise for your players? Yeah, I think you know our guys have worked on it all year. All of our guys work on bunting. Uh, it's, a, it's a tool that we need to use to, to tack on that extra run to just you know, add on to the lead. And for David, you know, when I talked to him, I said, hey, do you want to do this? And he said, oh, yeah, I'm, I, I butted a lot in my life. I'm confident. And, uh, Rokio, with the way Rokio's won, swinging the bat right now, his at bats have been phenomenal. Uh, you can't speak enough about that, but perfect jump, perfect slide, uh, just everything went right on that play. Steven, just the guys that we just were talking to in here, how important are their successes to the totality of what you guys are doing as a team? Yeah, I mean, Jose and Classe are, <laughs> they're our best two players. They have been all year. And, uh, you know, for Hosey to get that homer, that had to feel so good for him, and it energized our dugout like you wouldn't believe. And Emmanuel, you know, he had the blip the other day, and he's going to get way too much negative publicity for that because that was one blip on the radar of a historic season that he's put together, and tonight was another story of that. Just, you know, the thing I love about Emmanuel is 
he doesn't care if they score. He just wants to get the win. He doesn't care when he pitches. He just wants to pitch. He's done that for us all year. Up eight, tied down. It, it doesn't matter. He just wants to pitch, and uh, he's been outstanding all year. Will you start Matthew Boyd on Saturday? Uh, we we haven't really talked. I mean, tonight was we needed to get through tonight. We're going to reconvene tomorrow. Uh, we have a number of options that we can go with, but um, we'll have an answer tomorrow. And one more here with Paul. Steven, what what is it about the postseason that kind of brings out the best in Quan? He's uh, you, he's on a streak right now. Uh, I, I mean, Stephen Quan's been phenomenal all year long. You know, he's a big time player. We saw it throughout the whole year. And quani has been our spark plug, continuing to be it. And again, when you're when you're in the postseason, you have to take what the pitcher gives you. You can't try and do too much. And Quani is the epitome of that and has been all year long. And um, you go up and down the lineup, we've had a number of guys ch- you know, chip in in these first four games all year long. And uh, Quani's that spark plug that gets it going. David, just how good does it feel to extend the season and you know live to, live to fight another day, get a game at home for game five? Yeah, I mean, awesome. Obviously, uh, backs against the wall. Goal today was to uh, try to get the series back to Cleveland and hopefully get to, to win game five in front of the fans. Other questions? Can't hear on the left side. David, um, to have the pinch hit is huge, but just go through the conversation about getting down the safety squeeze there, just the thought process. Yeah, vote uh, kind of came up to me and was like, hey, how, how confident are you in getting a bunt down? <clears throat> and I told him I wasn't a very good hitter in high school, so I'm pretty confident I had to bunt a lot. And uh, he goes, all right, just keep an eye on Rugi for signs. And then right before I went up, and he said, go ahead and do it first pitch. And uh, luckily I got the run in. Questions? David, you had been 0 for 3 with three strikeouts against Bo Brisky. Just you know, what gave you the confidence to go in there and, and attack him in, in that at-bat? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know that stat. I knew I struck out against him yesterday, but I didn't know it was 0 for 3 to 3 punch. That's really good. Um, no, I was just trying to get a pitch to hit, and uh, luckily uh, kind of fought off some pitches with two strikes and was able to barrel something up. Not to, to minimize, but obviously this is kind of one of those things where you, you dream of as a kid to, to go into another park and silence the crowd. Can you just kind of put us through that moment of, of what it was like to hit that and the emotion you felt as you rounded the bases there? Yeah, like you said, you, you dream about it as a kid and think about it all the time and uh, in the off season and when you're working on stuff. And then uh, it happens and it goes by real quick. I, I remember looking at the dugout and high-fiving Sandy and then just black out and then you're in the dugout cheering with the boys. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. David, to see Jose Ramirez, Homer, and Class A bounce back the way he did after game two, I mean, how, how important was that, not just for this game, for, for you guys moving forward? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, Jose's obviously our, our leader, and uh, I, I don't want to take all the credit, but I did tell Hogg before he came up that he was going to hit a Homer that at bat, um, so I will take all the credit. No, but Jose's the man, and he, he kind of got us going, and to see him kind of He's not the most emotional guy, but see him get fired up after that homer kind of got the boys going and then getting the ball to Class A. I mean, he's done it all year. Our whole bullpen's done it all year, and they pick us up, and uh, he was awesome. David, you've known from the get-go that if you go to Game 5, you're going to see Scooble again. It just Obviously, the talent that he brings and the success he had the other day, but just the fact that you guys just saw him, how can that maybe help you guys, just the fresh looks that are you know, just right there in the rear view mirror? Yeah, I think we've seen him probably three or four times now this year, and uh, I think we'll have a pretty good game plan to, to go against him. He's he's had a heck of a season, and he, he's been he's been really good and threw well the other day, and uh, we're going to have to be ready to go, but it'll be a fun one, and Cleveland will be loud. Does it make it any easier that you just faced him? Yeah, I mean, I, I think there's two sides. Like, as a as a pitcher, you could say it's easier facing a lineup that you just saw, and you know how the hitters are going to attack you, and vice versa. I We've played these guys so much this season, and we've played them. It's been, I think, neck and neck the entire the entire season with the season series, and uh, it, it'll be a good ball game on, on Saturday. David, that was the first go-ahead pinch hit home run in franchise postseason history. Uh, no, second second go ahead. It was the first one to give you the lead. So, just where you've been this season, injury, All Star. Just what does it mean to to be able to you know, write your name in the books there and 
and, and really just have that moment for yourself. Yeah, pretty cool. I think even bigger than anything else was just boys backs against the wall, got a must win game and uh, able to get a, get our team to lead. And obviously with our bullpen, we, we feel really good once we get the lead and uh, just a really fun moment. Uh, I mean, Quan gets it going and he's been so good this series and he's been on base, it feels like all the time. And uh, had a couple chances yesterday to drive him in and didn't get it done. So it felt really good getting it done today.